So, you've just spawned into the border and you're in this weird looking armory with the rank of initiate after doing your BAT, which is a basic awareness training. This is where you would have gotten taken to the hangar and an operative or somebody higher than an operative will have given you what's called a basic awareness training where you do formations, etc. and are told to read the guidelines and join the group. I'm here to tell you, if you haven't read the guidelines yet, you should definitely do that because it's a mistake everybody makes and then they end up getting a strike for it and regretting it further down the line. But if you have read the guidelines and this is perfect for you, I'm going to tell you exactly what you do as an initiate. It's extremely simple and you'll be doing it until you get to about geo and then you start to get more interesting posts and once you get to operative, you'll be able to join one of the five, I believe, divisions in the Aegis Corporation, which are PKSF, SC, SDHD, MDF, ERD, and AIA, all of which have their own unique uh, traits, uh, weapons, tools, and everything. Morphs as well, as you can see around the room. Um, so upon spawning in, you'll have basically nothing apart from... So you'll have this key card, which is the Academy key card, which is used for doors, you know to get around the facility, you won't be able to get far, but it'll open all the doors that you need to open at your rank. The academy uh, pass, I think, goes up to Geo, and then you get a level one standard clearance card, which will give you access to most parts of the facility, apart from like division specific areas such as ARD and FC and the tower. Um, so once you have this clearance card, you'll just want to put it away look around the room, you, you know, examine your surroundings and then proceed to get the V5 morph. This is your standard combatics, which you'll have keybinds of audio do it, such as this. You'll see he holds the radio on his chest, I just press K and it'll do a little audio cue. Don't spam that, it's a mistake everyone makes, you'll get striked for it. Do not spam your audio commands. Um, so if we move away over like here we'll be able to open the door into the main corridor if you leave without getting your divisional or your standard Aegis combatics you will be worn by an SC member and told to return to the armory or you will just be striked for it if you've done it multiple times if we press U we'll be able to access our inventory in which all of our tools will be here we all want to get the Assault Rifle Aegis G14 6B Mark III. This is the standard Aegis Assault Rifle. Quite a high rate of fire, but the damage isn't as good as an AK or a G3. It's so that, you know, people like you can land shots, because you're just starting out in the game. Um, this is only for Geo Plus, I believe, or Cadet Plus. But the thing that you'll mainly be using if you're an initiate will be the standard pistol, which is here, the handgun, Aegis P1 Training E. This does a lot less damage than the P226. It's so that, you know, to prevent team killing and whatnot, you'll eventually learn how to use it and you'll get promoted and be able to use this, which is the standard assault rifle. But let's just say that I'm a Geo for now because I like having access to this nice looking assault rifle. So we're going to proceed down the corridor and we'll be going to a post shortly. This is the roof access, never go up here until you're operative plus, otherwise you'll get striked for that. So once we proceed into this area, just make sure you close all doors behind you and do not loiter. If you're going to leave spawn, proceed exactly to where you're meant to be. I'm only stopping around to show you things in this tutorial. If you were an initiate, usually you would walk straight from spawn, straight to your post down here. Now, initiates, very standardized posts, same as cadets, you just stand on this line. Basically, if you're wondering why you're doing this and why you think, oh, it's boring, it's a waste of time, well, it is, in essence, but I'll tell you why. So you have the first point, which is that we're doing patience testing. We're seeing if you are a viable candidate for the Aegis Corporation in terms of patience. If you can stand around on a line for 30 minutes at a time, you have patience. Obviously, you'd be probably watching YouTube videos and whatnot whilst doing that, but you still have the patience to stay in the game and do your job. Secondly, we like to see like if people will break the rules. You know, we've, you've been told to stay at your post. 
If you refuse to do that, that's just proving that you are incapable of following the rules and we no longer want you in the group. So basically the academy is meant to be like somewhat boring so that we can find people who we don't want to be in the group, who want to break the rules, who don't want to follow instructions and it, we can get rid of them as soon as possible. Um, so once you do that, you would do your duty state. Another post which is commonly used is here. This is the doorman. Uh, you'll want to stand here like this and whenever anyone comes in you'll want to turn and open the door for them and then close it after they've went through. Being an initiate in the border is very simple and if you follow the rules you'll be able to get to Geo Operative in no time. I'll be seeing you soon. Oh.